today's lecture will be a really really interesting because this is something which has been asked by the multiple people on our youtube channel so why don't you talk about the oracle rack environment so this is the lecture where i'm going to talk about oracle rack so before i proceed about the oracle rack let me give you some introduction that if you go for an oracle db interview oracle rack is something which is very much important or i can say it's a compulsory kind of skill set that every dba should know so if you are a person who is having 2 plus years of experience or 3 plus years of experience and if you are simply putting the oracle db in your resume then no one is going to select you you need to put oracle rack because i have seen multiple examples multiple companies first of all they will ask you that whether you have a knowledge about oracle rack if you have a knowledge about oracle rack then only we are going to proceed with the interview so remember guys start learning about the oracle rack now the question is what is oracle rack right now if you want to understand about the oracle rack first of all you need to understand about single instance architecture which is completely core db architecture so in normally single instance architecture what we do we will have a server where my instance is running right so let's consider that this is my server and where my database instance is running this is my database instance one and which is connected to your database so this is the database where my files are available related to the database like sp file control files data files archive and many other files are available now this is a server which is available in some different location right let's say this server is available in us location okay now what happened if your database instance is running then your database will be up and running means you will be able to access your database but if something went wrong to your database instance let's say your database instance got crash the memory got crash something went wrong to your database instance you will not be able to access this database right you will not be able to access so this database instance should be up and running in any situations assume a situation that this completely server itself got crash then your instance will be not running right your instance will not be running and if your instance is not running your database because this is something where my data is available right so i need this database instance to be up and running 24 across 7 and this is called high availability high availability we need high availability what we need we need high availability nowadays all the business are expecting that it should be available 24 across 7 if i want to purchase a camera or if i want to purchase anything from the amazon or flipkart amazon is not going to say that boss it's a night you cannot purchase anything amazon cannot be down google cannot be down youtube cannot be down it should be up and running 24 across 7 because if your amazon is down there will be a loss of billions of rupees or billions of dollar also so we need in this world it should be up and running 24 across 7 that is called high availability but here with this single instance architecture when i talked about the single instance i don't see high availability because if my instance goes down my database will not be accessible and all the users which got connected to the instance they will be locked off they will be kicked out that's a problem so how we can achieve this high availability that we need to understand second problem i will tell you about the single instance is let's say this database is built with the architecture or this database is having such a memory in a such way that it can handle hardly 1000 connections because this is a single instance na so we have allocated some memory which can handle only 1000 connections if more than 1000s are coming let's say we got a peak hours let's take a example we got big billion day we got something like we are giving huge discount and thousands of people are getting connected here let's say 10000 people are getting connected this database will be crashed 
he cannot handle so many users so many queries this database complete database will be crash so can we have a mechanism which will handle n number of connections that is called load balancing load balancing what i want i don't want to go all the connections to the single instance if i have a multiple instance which can handle n number of connections my business will be running smoothly if you are using a banking system let's say you are using sbi which is a state bank of india government bank and if it is down all the time do you think that you will use sbi no right the people will go to the private banking system like hdfc icic or many other banks are available which are providing very good services so nowadays people are saying that we need high availability we need load balancing and these two things can be achieved by the oracle rack rac real application cluster which is again the product of oracle only so by using this real application cluster which is our oracle rack setup you can get high availability also you can get load balancing also and that is the reason people are using oracle rack but you need to understand one thing that if something is coming if something is giving you lot of features it's not free of cost it's costly setup because here we are using single server single database or single instance here what we will do we are going to use multi server we can have two node three node four node five node n number of node so this is my node number 1 this is my node number 2 here my database instance 1 will be up and running here my database instance 2 will be up and running and both this instance are connected to something we called it as a database where my database related files are available like sp file control files data files archive logs here but this is this database is shared by the instance number 1 and instance number 2 because user the end user is getting connected to the database so when user one is saying that i want to connect when user one is saying that i want to connect to the database whether he is connecting from the instance one or he is connecting from the instance two he don't care at the end he want to get a data from this database only from here so end user don't know end user don't know to which instance he got connected what is important he is getting the expected data from this database and this is a high availability now what is high availability what you understood from here if this instance goes down because of any uncertain reason still the user can connect from the instance number 2 this is running guys this is running the user can connect to the instance number 2 and from here he will access the database and user will not get to know also that instance one goes down as a dba we will come to know this is a high availability so you can have multiple instance also but again the cost will be high because you will have three server four server and server is not coming free of cost just like with our training so remember one thing that high availability is only possible high availability is possible with the help of rack environment another issues or another features which is provided by the oracle rack environment is what is that load balancing as i said load balancing load balancing means now i have two instances at the right every node have their own every node we have their own resources like they have their own cpu own memory and including storage also correct this node also have their own cpu own memory own storage also here remember that okay now if i am getting 1000 connections to this database there are 1000 people they want to connect here there is a very high chances that 500 connections will come from node 1 
and 500 connections are coming from node 2. So your connections, number of connections are getting split among the node 1 and node 2. They are getting split. Now if the 500 connections are coming from node 1, it will consume the resources from here. And if the connections are coming from here, it will consume the resources from here. It's like very easy, right? Earlier, if I want to go to my hometown, there were only one way was there. So when it is a one way, lot of traffic, lot of populations, lot of pollutions. But now I have two ways are there. I can connect from here also. I can connect from here also. But at the end, I need to come here only. So these are the two important features. We called it as a high availability and load balancing is possible with the help of this Oracle Rack environment. I know that you people are understanding this concept very well. I know that you people want to understand this concept in future also because there are many things available in the Oracle Rack environment. But for that, if you want the next video of this Oracle Rack environment, you just need to say interested into the comment section. What do you need to mention? Just in the comment section, mention like interested. I will upload the next video of this Oracle Rack environment. Again, please do like, subscribe and share this channel with everyone. If you want to understand this training with the paid mode, you can reach out to us. There is a Google form available in the description of this video. Fill up that and we will contact with you. If you have not subscribed to us till now, please subscribe. And if you are listening us for the first time, remember that we are having 23,000 subscribers available on our YouTube channel. You can follow us on our LinkedIn and we have 4.9 ratings available on our Google. This is all possible with your love, support and with our dedication. So let me know what you need in the comment section please add comment like interested we will continue this series of rack environment thank you